All right, students. Um, so for your week of homework, at least for the first section, um, you are building a paper airplane and you're testing it out. Um, we're pretty much going over the design process um, and then the scientific method. If you remember those back for the very beginning of science, um, so we're going to go over those. Your objective for this is design and build a paper airplane, tra airplane travel the longest distance. Um, you may design your paper airplane however you wish. Somehow you must come up with a way for your paper airplane to travel the furthest without hitting the ground. Um, so your problem is that you are building a paper airplane to travel as far as possible. Um, hypothesis, remember it has to be an if then statement. So for example, if I add a rocket to it, it will go far or then it will go far. Um, so mine for this actual one will be if I increase the length of the wings, it will travel farther. And remember, that is uh, the thing we're going to be testing, right? So this is something we can test. Um, if I make the different uh, length of wings, I can test that idea and see if it actually does travel farther. Um, so my independent variable is what we are changing. Um, so for mine, it goes right with my hypothesis. All right, my independent variable is going to be the length of wing. Okay, of wings. My dependent variable is what we're going to measure, and that is the distance it flies. Constants, these are things that you have to have the same for each test to be able to um, count it as valid. So two of the constants, um, throw power could be some. We want to throw it with the same amount of intensity every time. Um, we want to control um, kind of like the weather or the surrounding area. Like we don't want fans laying on the ground and blowing it up because that would skew our data. Um, there's a whole list of others that you can do. Um, and then that way it will, you guys can come up with some others. Um, there's two just as kind of an example. All right. Um, for your research online, you can do that, or some of you are really good already at making paper airplanes. Um, so make sure you draw your design. I split mine this way. I'm going top here and side, and I'm going to show two different views. Um, my top view, my paper airplane looks like this. We all know Mr. Hernick that cannot draw. All right, so mine looks like this. Um, and I measured it out and my wing length was the uh, entire length, or not the entire length, it was uh, eight inches. So I'm gonna add a little sidebar here. This was eight inches, okay? So my wing length was one of the things that I wanted to measure and see if I can make a difference in that. Eight inches was my starting one. And then from the side, mine looked very normal. Um, I did fold the nose in so it wasn't pointed. And then my wings went down like this and up. So as you can tell, this was the um, actual, the, the middle piece right here. And then this is the wing in the lighter color. So I would separate it like this just to give us a good idea of what you got. Um, I know some students are adding like tail fins and things like that. Um, that way it'll give us a good idea of what you're doing. Students, when you are testing your paper airplane, uh, find a nice long strip 
um, preferably indoors. Um, we've talked about controls and one of the things you can't control is uh, the weather or the wind. Um, luckily today it's a little more calm than yesterday. So when you do this, uh, make sure you stand in the same spot every time. And when you throw, use a good amount of speed um, and you want to replicate that every time. When you measure, I don't have a measuring stick or anything. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is count with my feet. All right, so I'm about 13 and a half feet. Um, and then I will do this about four more times, uh, record all my uh, trials and then make a modification and go again. All right, so once you've done your test, um, you may want to make sure that you write down all of your trials and tribulations here. All right, so um, make sure you get all your trials in. My first one was 13 and a half. Uh, I put Mr. H feet, and that's because I measured with my feet. Um, I didn't want to get confused with actual legit measurements here. Um, so then as you go down, my next one was 14. Mr. H feet. Uh, my one after that was 10. Mr. H feet. Um, my one after that was 12. Mr. H feet. And then I had a 15 on my last one. Now, as you guys saw, I did mine outside. Um, so Obviously, I was not doing a great job of having a control of the weather, um, but I don't have a spot in my house to do it, so I had to make do with what I had. Um, so there's your first set. Make sure you find the mean. The mean would be adding all of these together and then dividing by how many there are. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, there's five of them. So if I added all of these numbers together and then divide by five, that'll get my mean. All right. Um, the next part is where you come in handy. So you're going to explain the change you make and why. So for mine, I am changing the wings to be shorter. Um, I want to see if that will help with airspeed and maybe get me some more distance. So I would write here in here of why I'm doing that and what my thoughts are on that. Record your second set of trials and then do the mean for those as well. And then uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment, email, remind, um, any of those things are appropriate and we'll make sure we help you out. Um, but this is the first part and it should be fairly uh, self-explanatory. Hope you guys are having fun.